think that was the worst one. <laughs> you, you got it in my head. Monday, it's going to be all fixed. It better be. Monday, it'll be all Live fixed. from New York. We're stopping. It's a show that has their own version of March Madness. Yeah. March Madness of takes, that oh, is. Don't remind me. Who will me reveal? Ooh, well, I've got bad news. Know. You're a 15 seed of takes today. <laughs> Well, I do think it's on the board, but I, I listen, Brew is the Russ guy. He has been for years and years on this show. I'm just so I fair. Feel, usually, I just haven't written him off. We, listen. I Wilds. just say 26 touchdowns I, and eight picks yeah. is good. That's well, all I say. So yeah. listen, 205 I'm a yards guy. Game. Wilds, listen, when we yeah. do Mahomes topics, you usually give me the respect of letting me go first. Mm -hmm. So when we do Russ topics, we should give Brew the respect Sometimes of letting him go first. Sometimes he wants to counter punch. So go ahead. No, but he's wanted to go first. <clears throat> he said it for the show. You were too busy fixing your hair. So I, I, I don't know who this executive <laughs> is. It's just scuttlebutt. It is hogwash. Scuttlebutt. It is balderdash. It's Tommy Wright. If I ever I heard know of that him. one. All right, Tom, look it up. Because that's what this is. All right, really? Mm -hmm. Now, look, I'm going to be fair because I'm, I'm not, like, in love with Russell Wilson, but I'm just going to be fair. Is there a chance he doesn't start the full 17 games? Sure. Is, there, is he possibly or likely even one and done in Pittsburgh? Sure. Is he going to get cut in training camp? No way. All right, there's no way that's happening unless he goes out there and really just can't play professional football. So anymore. there is a way. No, that's no, that's not going to happen because you can talk about how bad he was. And I've even admitted he wasn't as good as the stats suggest. Why do you keep but saying But they are that? stats. I mean, they are kept for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's generally how we measure people. And so he didn't look quite as good as the numbers, but he did produce those numbers of 26 and 8 and the sixth highest passer rating in the league. All right. The fact of the matter is this. The Steelers have more hope for Russell Wilson next season or this upcoming season than they do for Justin Fields. Based on what? Based on who they bring in first. Russell Wilson. They knew Justin Fields was available. That wasn't a secret. But they went out and brought in Russell Wilson. What'd they give up for Justin Fields? A six-round pick. When it was a fourth-round pick, when it was a third-round pick, they weren't interested. What did they give up for but Russ? Give up, uh, no, let me finish. They gave up a six-round pick, and reportedly there are four other teams interested in Justin Fields, and the Steelers still didn't say, okay, we'll go up to five. We'll go up to four. They still kept it at six-round or nothing. We don't know what he can do. Bring him in and, and we'll see. Why did Fields want to go there? Well, Fields, it's a good opportunity for why? him. Why? Because he can learn under Russell Wilson. I don't think and that's And it's a why. good team. You don't think that, but you don't know. <laughs> it is because he, he, we think he, I think he wants to learn under Russell Wilson. You, and he, he wants, he knows hold, it's a good situation. Hold on. So, I didn't. I got to let me finish my take. Oh, before. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I thought we, I thought you No, were I'm saying they, they, I think they have higher hopes for Russ than they do for Justin Fields. Okay. Now, Justin Fields, I'm sure they want him to be their quarterback of the future if it goes well. But, no, this notion that Russell Wilson's not going to be there in training camp, uh, and you know how bad he'd have to so, look or act in training camp so for them to cut I don't him? think that's ne that, that last supposition is necessarily true. But I want to go back to what you were saying, which is why Justin wanted to be there. Thank you. Because all of the reporting that I heard was he wanted to be there was not because he could learn, because that was of the teams that wanted him his best chance to play. It's a, and it's a. Who, who were the other teams that wanted him? I think New Orleans potentially was on the list, and he wasn't going to supplant Derek Carr. I, had, Philadelphia was on the list. He wasn't going to supplant. Uh, but it's not. It's like, a, but Pittsburgh the, is a very good team the, too. The, absolutely. But that's not. That, I but that's, I yes. Support your. This sure. is the quote from Courtney Cronin. Mm -hmm. There were five teams that reached out to the Bears to gauge their interest on a Fields trade. But the majority of those teams envisioned Fields as a backup. Mm -hmm. and, but Justin wanted to go there, and Ryan Poles is a great guy and did right by him by sending right. him to the be Steelers a backup, I guess? The Steelers have come out and said. There is no reason for the Steelers to come out and say Russell Wilson's well, going to so, be our starter. Russ is on hard times. So, so, Russ, had a, okay. Russ was benched in Denver. Why'd they have to do so, it? So now, because I think they say a lot of guys are going to start. So now, now we it, think. So listen, right. I said it. I'm the, just, that's just a fact. So the reason I, I so strongly disagree with what you're saying is I, I don't think Russell Wilson needs to be unplayable in order to be cut. I think 
that if Russell Wilson is not the named starting quarterback, they will not want him as the backup. I think that if if in I think the idea behind <laughs> this is not oh he could be cut in training camp because he's going to come out there and not be able to throw a football. I think what they are talking about is if there is any semblance of a competition and Justin wins it, which by the way I am not certain he would, right. but if he were, that they would not want Russell Wilson as the backup quarterback because Russell Wilson would not want to be the backup quarterback. The, the reporting as of yesterday was in his meeting with the Giants. They wouldn't right. certify to him you'll be the starter. That's one of the reasons he didn't want to be there. But and the so, Steelers did certify the, to him. Yes, before the they had this player. Uh, have, and they, so, have we seen the, any reports since the, they got this player? No, but they, what so, are those the, reports? Well, no, they are right now still towing oh, the okay. line and keeping the line that Russ is the starter. And I think, Brew, their plan is – for Russ to be the starter. Oh, okay. But that can if that changes, I think that it is then very on the board that Russ asks them, then cut me, please. You guys have to no investment where? in me to wait for a quarterback to get hurt and to see where he could that? go. But if I, Justin doesn't so, play well, he could end up starting in Pittsburgh. Right. No, it, I understand that piece of it, and if I were the Steelers, I might tell Russell Wilson, no, we're not doing that, actually. We needed three quarterbacks last year. You're going to be a good soldier. So I, I am not predicting, Brew, he will be So you kind cut. of agree? Okay. No, I am, so I'm predicting that. he's the week one starter. Oh, but I okay. am saying th the question, buying he might not make the Steelers. I am 100% buying that it is on the board that Justin wins the competition and Russ is not the guy they want to be the backup. That is not the the bet I would make, but do I think that is a greater than 1%, like not just any given Sunday type of chance, do I think there's a 10 to 20% chance yes. that that happens? Yes, oh, yeah. absolutely. And I I just, I, I don't know why we have this hang-up. He, he had less of a market than Gardner Minshew. If Gardner Minshew were in Pittsburgh and Justin Fields was brought in, would we go in there saying, well, yeah, there's a chance Gard that Justin wins that competition? Would we be saying that? I don't think the Steelers would be saying Gardner Minshew's our starter. If they had signed him before they had Justin Fields and named him the starter, of course they would. Why? Of course they would. What do you mean? Why not say we got a competition? Gardner it, Mitchell's a career backup. So I we got let's have, we got a competition. The, the Steelers. Best, I think they could have said that with Russ, to be honest. That but they when come in and compete. But when they yeah. signed him and named him the starter, they didn't have anyone on the. Justin was not on the team yet. No, but so my, I don't think they're going to now have like, hey, send out a press release saying, by the way, it, it's now open competition. They're going to have practices, and you're going to see who the better player is. To Bruce's point, the reason the reporting on why Kenny Pickett left is because Kenny Pickett was promised an uh, opportunity to compete, found out Russ was basically the starter, and then said, hey, I feel yeah. lied to or the situation changed, I need to leave. So that would support your point. But the question I have for you is this, Brew. Do you think there are some quarterbacks who are starters only? And I'll give you the example. When Cam Newton started the full Brady Bridge year to Mac Jones, Mac Jones won the competition, and Belichick cut Cam Newton a little bit as, as a solid to him. It's like, man, you're not a backup. Right. You're just right. not. You're, you're the man. You're not going to thrive as a backup. You have to go. And he went to Carolina. He did the cool, like, I'm back. It didn't yeah. go well in Carolina because nothing goes well in Carolina. But it was almost like doing him a favor to go find another starting job. I, I think, yes, I think there are quarterbacks like that. But Russ, at this stage of his career, I think, I mean, the, the quarterbacks like that have huge personas, and he does have a huge persona. But I also think, where is he going? Where was Cam like at the, going? Well, Cam eventually accepted being a backup I, in other places. You know what I mean? The, is, and I think Cam would accept being a backup now. Oh, yeah. The, right? So, I, I just think he went back. Didn't he go back to Carolina? No, that's Carolina. Was, Carolina. He went to Carolina and yeah, was but the starter, then, and then and it was out of the league right. shortly yeah. thereafter. I, I just, I... There, there is a lot that goes along. I don't – we all say – I shouldn't say we all say. Sean Payton came in and said, you know, Russ is not having his office and his parking spot and all those things. Because Sean Payton changed how he wanted, Russ, like, the Broncos do business does not mean Russell Wilson changed how he views himself.
how he views, you know what I mean, his position as the face of the franchise, no matter what. The, and I'm sure the salary stuff is justified understandably right, by right, right, right. it would make no sense. You're getting this amount of money no matter what. So he's like the only player in the league that is not, you can't look at his salary right. as his value. I understand that piece of it because he's getting his $39 million from Denver. I just think there is a lot of personality stuff that is attached to Russell Wilson that if he is your not your starter, you might not want to deal with. That you no, might not want fair. to have I, in, in well, the he's building. Got a Even a Tim mentality. Tebow yeah, that's was kind of like, like I said, a, a backup quarterback that draws a lot of attention the stuff is that, not what you want. The stuff we heard when, when Cap was being that. blackballed and people were trying to, you know what I mean, try to act like you can't bring him in and be a backup. There's, it's all different things, but the answer really, what it all came it down to was, the backup quarterback is supposed to be either a young player learning or anonymous. And Russell right. Wilson would be none of the above. I just think he's going to start week one. I think he's going to win or has the job and will keep it. That's why I think it won't happen. Here's Mahomes hitting the gym. I've worked out on that thing at Equinox. You stretch out. I have You're an those. Equinox member? I was. I wow. Why? It's just you, congrats, buddy. You're doing well. well. Maybe you work out there. Your bones will get <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Shots fired. I call you rich. You call me weak. <laughs> uh, latest workout. He's doing awesome stuff. And here he is with uh, his one new wide receiver, yeah, one wow. old wide receiver, Rasheed Rice there with the T-shirt of shirtless Mahomes with the dad bod. Uh, last year, this duo had 130 receptions and 11 touchdowns. Now, where do you think this new tandem ranks in the AFC. And the AFC is interesting because while the AFC has far more great quarterbacks than the NFC does, I think the NFC has better wide receiver, more excellent wide receiver duos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or a deeper group of wide receiver duos. So can I interest you in a top five, Brew? Oh, yes. Coming in at number five, this will thrill, Brew. Wilson and Williams. Oh. So I think Garrett Wilson's okay. really good. Mike Williams has actually only had one awesome season, but his highlights are so good and his athleticism, all of that. And so we, I think Wilson and Williams he's a come great in number two. At, at two. number, if, if he's healthy, he's an excellent number two. Which is, by the way, what he was in. I would argue he was the number two in with the oh, Chargers. He was for sure. All right, coming in at number four. Young guys, Nico Collins and I Tank like Dell. Now, I'm nervous about Tank Dell, not because you're not going to recover from the broken leg, but because the knock on him, one of the reasons he fell in the draft was you worried about his body holding right. up in the NFL because he's so it. slight of frame, and then he got hurt in his first yep. season. But I love them. At number three, these guys, Rasheed Rice and Hollywood Brown. So Rasheed Rice... I think what we saw him do over the second half of the year showed once he got more targets, how good he could be. He was he had one of the most productive rookie playoff seasons of any player other than Jamar Chase. And I think Hollywood Brown stylistically fits what the Chiefs want, mm -hmm. particularly if they add another wide receiver in the draft. At number two, Chase and Higgins, and these you know these top two are pretty obvious. It, it, the only reason you can't even argue Chase and Higgins for number one is because it feels like Higgins disposition might not be great if they just keep him on the franchise tag. Sure. And But even if he were totally happy, number one still might be number one. Tyreek and Waddle. You have arguably the best receiver in the league, definitely the best receiver in the AFC, and Waddle is great. So I think the Chiefs go from having the wide receivers were the reason they weren't going to win the Super Bowl and then they won the Super Bowl anyway, to the third best duo in the AFC. They got the best quarterback obviously throwing the ball to him, so that's going to be huge. Um, but right now, I had them much lower than third. I didn't have them in my top five. Uh, I had those other four. Well, I, I didn't have – I had DeAndre Hopkins and Calvin Ridley. Okay, that's a oh, terrible that's a take. One. Really? Because they I both like were that. over 1,000 yards last yeah, year. Yeah, I think that's a bad I, – I, I, They I don't sure. have as good of a quarterback, but DeAndre Hopkins is better than any of those so guys. So, I don't think was he great. Is. He still was really good last I, year. So, I disagree. I like okay, you I, can we'll disagree. See. Yeah. Um, Calvin Ridley, still very good. Yeah. So, I'm going with Calvin Ridley. Amari got, Cooper ahead, so. and Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy's bad. Ask know. Steve Smith. He's bad, buddy. Okay, okay. We'll Th see. You disagree. You think Jerry Judy's I think good? he's a good number two. Yeah, he could I think he's a good from number a fresh two. Start. Right. I, I think he, he had some issues, but I think he'll be he's a good number two. probably held back by quarterback play last year, to be fair. Well, look, those the Chiefs receivers got the best quarterback, mm -hmm. so yeah. that's going to be big for him. 
I like Khalil Shakir, and Stephon oh Diggs my. needs a better year. I, I got him down. I'm not that high on your boy. It's still an improvement. You have them at because seven. I got him at nine. Oh, Devontae nine. Adams and Jacoby Myers, mainly right. because of Devontae. So that was actually, mainly because of Devontae. So that's and Myers one. is a good number two. So that but on the Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, all, the other ones you listed, I think, are insane. Just my take. DeAndre the Devontae, Hopkins and the Calvin Ridley, yeah, really? insane. Yeah, How? four years ago, I'd be with you. Um, but the Devontae Adams was good. a tough one because it's he's almost so like he's so good. Right. Is as long if, yeah. could you put him with anybody and it's an excellent duo. So and that's Myers the one. will be a good two. He wasn't the, a one. No, but we England. saw we saw that last two. year that with the and it yeah, was it they was were there fine. last year. And, um, yeah, I think you're underselling Rasheed Rice. Here's I, I am. So here's I, Rasheed Rice, right. but fine. you yeah. might be overselling Hollywood Brown. I'll give you a glass half full. Yeah. This is a reception percentage. She Rice caught 77 percent of his balls. Uh, Hollywood Brown only 50 percent now. We can dig into why yeah. he was last in the NFL. One part, perhaps, is trying to hit more home runs, deep balls. Uh, the other reason might be quarterback play. Yeah. Uh, but even if I don't expect him to, him to be last, so if he brings that up, also if he has the benefit of having other pass catchers around him, so maybe they're be going a to bit more play open. well because of Mahomes. I'm just I, looking at the receivers in a vacuum. So no, and I but and I'm with that, Mahomes, and but I just first. I think that there was. That stat right there can't be looked at in a vacuum because I don't think Hollywood, I don't think Rasheed Rice was the the most sure-handed receiver in the league last year. But that stat would tell you he was. With that, to me, that is a quarterback stat. Okay. That is a sure. how catchable is the ball. Right. And with the guys playing quarterback for a lot of the year for Arizona last year, if the you know a target. To Hollywood Brown that landed eight yards out of bounds yeah. counts as a target to yes. him, you know, and right. so that's a. But, and they're just hard catches. And like I know, the level of difficulty of his routes are. And correct, and he had he had some very notable drops, but his drop percentage was three point four percent. The league averaged three point two percent, but he just he had some bombs that he dropped, so it stood out. Yeah. He's not a high drops player. All right, let's check in on. I uh, like the signing. Brew, do you like this Steph Mahomes comparison? I do. It's right on the money. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Now, you know, Steph changed the game. We know stylistically. I don't know if he's single. I guess LeBron's saying because Steph changed the game and now three-pointers are so prominent, that's why yeah. no lead is safe. But with Mahomes, I mean, 13 seconds isn't safe. <laughs> like, in er before that 13-second drive, no one ever would have thought you could win a game like that or come back in 13 seconds. And now it's not – it's mainly Mahomes. He's the, obviously the, the face of it. But most quarterbacks now, a minute left, 45 seconds left just to drive and get a field goal, like that is viewed as, oh, they got plenty of time left. You know, and now the, uh, the other team has to, you know, worry about the yep. clock and how – you know, so, yeah, I think I, it's right on the money. So here's – so I, I kind of agree with you. I want to give credit. I think the first quarterback – to make it feel like if he got the ball back, no matter how much time was left, he was going to find a way, was Brady. Yes. Brady, Brady, to me, I think Mahomes is going to end up being better at it than Tom, and he already, if you look at percentage of opportunities was not up to this point, he's on a far better pace. But to be fair to Tom, Tom was the guy that it felt like always came through in those moments and in a way that Peyton did it, that Aaron didn't, that right. Big Ben, the other great mm -hmm. quarterbacks of his era – where I do think this comp is accurate, I just think we haven't had enough time to see it yet, is just like Steph changed the way you watch AAU or high school or college basketball is played as far as range threes, I think more of the off-platform arm angle, run around, make the play downfield rather than play with your legs – you are going to have an influx of, and Caleb is the first one right, right, right. to play. And I know Aaron Rodgers did that to a degree, yep. but that was a long time between Aaron and Mahomes. And so I think he is going to change the way the quarterback position is played for a lot of guys as the league moves away from the statuesque pocket passers right, right. and more to the athletic quarterbacks where you see guys play a lot. It's like, oh. He's a poor man's Patrick Mahomes. Oh, he's trying to be Patrick Mahomes. Like we kind of say Trey Young's trying to be Steph in certain I, ways. I think to your point, Rodgers did it, Brady did it, but 
they were two of the few, really the only ones kind of doing it. Now others are – it feels like other quarterbacks – have a better chance of yep. doing it now than ever before, and that's where I think yep. Steph is in the NBA. Good answers. Too. Actually, just deeper field goals was what we were looking for. <laughs> it's just Justin Tucker can hit 65-yard field goals now, and Butker can hit long. I mean, it's not fun to talk about, but it's just deeper field goals. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.